Let's see how a sampling distribution can be found for a real life example. So let's assume we are tossing a coin and let x equal the number of heads observed. And now also consider that we toss a coin two times, so a sample consists of two tosses, and the task is to find the sampling distribution of the sample mean. So we can get four outcomes. So the first outcome is that on the first toss we get a head, and on the second toss we get a head. So since we are interested in the number of heads observed, so in this case, on the first toss we get that x is 1, and on the second toss we get that x is 1. And we already know that the probability that we have two heads is equal to 1 over 4. So if we calculate the mean value of this sample, so 1 plus 1 divided by 2, we get that the mean value of this experiment is 1. So let's move to the second outcome. So it might happen that on the first toss we get a tail and on the second toss we get a head. So since the first toss, uh, on the first toss we get a tail, x is equal to 0, and on the second toss we get a head, so x is equal to 1. And we know that the probability of this happening is also 1 over 4. So if we calculated the sample mean, 0 plus 1 divided by 2, we get that the mean value of the sample is 0 0.5. The third outcome is we get on the first toss we get a head and on the second toss we get a tail. So since on the first toss we get a head, x will be equal to 1. And uh, since on the second toss we get a tail, we get x being equal to 0. The probability of seeing this outcome of head tail is 1 over 4. And if we calculate the sample mean 1, 1 plus 0 divided by 2, we get that the mean value of the sample is 0 0.5. And then the last outcome is two tails. So on the first toss and on the second toss, we get a tail. So in both cases, x will be equal to zero. So the number of heads observed. Um, so, and we also know that the probability of having two tails is one over four. And if we calculate the mean value of the sample, so zero plus zero, we get that the mean value of the sample is equal to zero. So, the probability that the sample mean is equal to 1, this is the, the same as the probability of having two heads. And we know from that table that this probability is equal to 1 over 4. Then we need the probability that the, the sample mean is equal to 0 0.5. We've got two possibilities, tail, tail heads, heads tail. So we will sum the respective probabilities of having a tail and heads and heads and tail. So 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4, we get 1 over 2. And then the last uh, possibility is the sample mean being equal to 0. So this is the same as calculating the probability of having two tails. We know that the probability of this happening is 1 over 4. So the probability that the sample mean is equal to 0 is 1 over 4. So we get that the sampling distribution of the sample mean is the following. So the pro so when the probability of the mean value of 0 is 1 over 4, the probability of the mean value of 0 0.5 is 1 over 2, and the probability of the mean value of 1 is 1 over 4.